Hello everyone and welcome on the Papier de Rêve channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you some uh, columbine flower. I'm not sure about the name, uh, but I think it's columbine, yes. Uh, in French, uh, anyway, it's encoli. As you have seen, I've changed my intro to be a little bit more representative of what I'm doing a and a little bit more traditional. I'm not sure that the music will stay like that for now, uh, but I'm pretty happy with it. And I will try also to improve my uh, quality of uh, image uh, in this video, and I think you can already see it. Everything is a little bit more crisp and uh, you will be able to see a little bit more details in this video. So today I'm painting Columbine, but I will paint them in quite a different way uh, that I usually uh, paint uh, flower, uh, just because I want uh, to change a little bit uh, my way of painting for this, uh, this painting, this subject. And I also want to um, uh, improve a little bit in uh, loosen uh, my style of painting. So in order to loosen up in this painting, uh, I will challenge myself to uh, not blend too much my color and not uh, make gradient with my color. And also uh, I challenge myself to just use a flat brush for this painting so that I'm not able to paint uh, tiny little details uh, too quickly. I'm starting my first layer with uh, the shape of the flower. I like them to be a little bit blocky uh, and not, uh, I think they are a little bit rounded too, but uh, I'm trying to uh, just play with the shape of my brush here uh, so that uh, I can not go in too much details uh, already. And also in this painting, I want to play uh, the most with the transparency of uh, watercolor. Uh, you know that uh, all my color or almost all my color in my palette are uh, very very transparent uh, and I want to overlap them so that I can get a different result uh, than I'm used to uh, because uh, I'm just mixing my colors like, like I want them uh, to be on my paper before or putting them on my paper. But here I want to uh, change a little bit uh, the way I'm painting and the way I'm mixing color just to overlay them on top of uh, one another uh, so that I can get a new texture uh, from it. At this stage of my painting, I have a big uh, wash of nickel as a yellow on the right uh, side. And I will overlap it with uh, other color so that I can uh, construct the color a little bit on my paper directly and not in my palette beforehand. And today I'm using a, a very different uh, paint than uh, that I'm used to. Uh, I have bought recently uh, some uh, Amazonite Genuine from Daniel Smith. And it's a, a really interesting color because uh, the pigment is made from uh, a genuine stone crushed, uh, so it's a, a very granulating color and uh, the color is just uh, really beautiful. Maybe you have noticed that uh, in my palette there is almost no green, there is just one, uh, the Viridian green, uh, and that's just because I like to mix my own green, uh, and often with uh, ultramarine blue and nickel as a yellow, or ultramarine blue with aussi red gold. It's my uh, favorite mix. Uh, but uh, Viridian is a really uh, an unusual color and it's not uh, possible to make it uh, from the other colors that I have in my palette. And so is uh, Amazonic Genuine. It's a really cold green uh, and almost uh, turquoise and I like it very much and I, it will add something to my green. It will make them a little bit more vibrant, uh, a little bit more um, uh, green, <laughs> I don't know, uh, apple green uh, almost. So I'm really happy to, uh, with this color and I'm, I can't wait uh, to try it more in other painting. 
Right now, my painting is very messy. It lacks a lot of texture and uh, some details uh, in a way, in, even if I say I do not want to paint details, uh, but there is some uh, little bit needed in order to understand uh, this uh, painting a little bit better. But I will make them in another layer. I need uh, here to dry this layer totally, fully, uh, so that I'm able to add more color and play a little bit more with transparency, but without my uh, color melting into each other. So I will let dry uh, this layer and I will talk you through uh, my supplies. For the brushes, I'm using a Nescoda Ultimo 1-inch uh, and a Princeton Neptune half an inch uh, Both of them are flat. And for the colors, I'm using Ultramarine Blue, Nickel Azo Yellow, Aussie Red Gold, Rose Mother Lake, and two new colors from Daniel Spins, Wisteria and Amazonite Genuine. And today my paper is from Archies in uh, Hot Quest. For this last layer, I'm switching my brush for a smaller one, still flat, uh, because I still want to uh, challenge myself to paint uh, with a flat brush uh, and not be able to make too much details uh, with it. So I swap brush for a smaller one, uh, but uh, the idea stays the same, uh, not too much details uh, and uh, playing a lot with color and transparency. And while I'm painting this layer, I want to talk a little bit more about why uh, challenging yourself with uh, some tiny uh, change in your technique is good uh, to loosen up. Here, uh, I'm not able uh, to uh, use a round brush and I do not want to make too much gradient uh, and I just want to play with uh, blocks of colors uh, and just uh, having the, the color uh, merge a little bit uh, because they are wet uh, again uh, against each other. Uh, but uh, there is no uh, gradient at all in this painting. I'm not... Uh, adding colors and then rinsing my brush and uh, gradient uh, the color I just put uh, with just water. I'm not doing that. I just want to uh, layer uh, the colors uh, and change them by layering them. And this is good for loosen up just because I have to think uh, differently that I'm used to. Uh, I have to think a, a little bit more about uh, the layout of my color and which color goes go first and which uh, go on top uh, of uh, one. Uh, one another um, and I have to, to think differently on how to uh, use my brush uh, in the most efficient way uh, possible but with uh, the constraints that I have uh, it's a flat brush. And making this painting works with uh, so much challenge uh, behind it uh, will help me to uh, have some other uh, technique uh, in my pocket to use in other painting. So I'm learning here how to use uh, the flat brush in the most efficient way and I'm also learning that I can uh, layer the color and change, change them a little bit. I do not have to just uh, make mix in my palette and then apply uh, them on the paper. I can uh, have a really uh, a blocky uh, style of painting and it's still working. Uh, it's full of energy and that's what I like uh, right here in this painting. And even if I'm not uh, painting uh, really greenery uh, behind my flowers, you are able to see a, a really interesting texture that will uh, make you think about uh, leaves, about uh, stems uh, and everything like that. But there is no uh, real uh, leaves paint in this painting. Uh, it's just an impression of leaves, an impression of uh, greeneries and that's it. 
and by playing with the shape of my brush with all the color I'm uh, overlapping uh, on uh, one another uh, you have all sorts of greens created here all sorts of shapes are created and uh, that's just enough uh, for you to think about flowers, about uh, leaves, about stem. And it's enough, in fact. Uh, there is no need to uh, botanical details in this painting. Uh, it's uh, just uh, expression, emotion, and that's it. For the last detail, I will add a little bit of a lighter color with the, the color Wisteria that, il, that is also new in my palette. It's a little bit like uh, the lavender I like a lot, but in a, a more pink shade. Uh, so it's a, a watercolor, but it's uh, really more, more opaque than all my colors. And I can add uh, some uh, lighter color uh, on top of darker color with it. And it's very interesting to to add just a little bit uh, of light in uh, some area. I, I like it a lot and I also can't wait to use it a little bit more in uh, future paintings. And this video is now ending. Thanks for watching and I hope you like it. Please check the blog post for more information about uh, this uh, picture and uh, tell me what you think in the comments. See you soon.